Okay, hey there. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to make a brochure using Microsoft Word. And this is an example of one that I game or one that I made. It is a version of the game Flappy Bird that I made on Scratch, but it can be done for anything you choose. So I have my cover right here with a screenshot of my game, a little arrow that says to keep on reading, don't just stop here. I have a little story about my game with a picture, a picture I took, a little um, some instructions here that say what not to do. I explain how it works, and then I have some reviews from the New York Times and it's Taylor Swift, and finally on the back I have an about a section with a wonderful picture of me. But let's see how we can actually go about doing this. So I am going to be in Word here, and I'm going to open up. And if you are, if your screen does not look like this, just go to View, and you can change it to Print Layout. That's what you want to be. A lot of times it'll be default, it'll be in Draft, and that doesn't look anything like what I had before. So I'm going to go to Print Layout. And we are going to be organizing things in a certain manner. So I want to make sure that I could see what I am doing. And there are different tabs in Word. This is the Home tab, and it has kind of the basic things that you use. This is the Layout tab, which controls where things go. Document Elements, you have the headings and uh, your footer, citations, all that. Tables, make tables. Charts, make charts. Uh, smart Art is... Um, I've actually never really played with Smart Art very much, but I think you could see how things progress, and you can make little infographics sort of things and review when you are doing some academic stuff you can do that but we are primarily going to be using home and layout and we will one time go into document elements and what I want to do so that I can see how everything is properly laid out is I just want to have some grid lines and these will just help me sort of organize things and make sure that my columns are in the right space and now that I have that, there are two ways that a page can be printed. It can be portrait, up and down like that, because it looks like a portrait, or it could be landscape, where it is going across. And we want our brochure to be in landscape mode. So if you just go here to orientation, you can switch it from portrait to landscape. Boom. Now that we have that, I want to change the margins. The margins are is the amount of blank space between your content area and the edge of the page. And if you look back at my brochure, you can see that this these margins are a lot smaller than the ones on the page. So I want to change the size of them. And if you go right here to margins, you have the top margin, the bottom margin, the left margin, and the right margin. I'm going to change the top margin down to 0.5. And you can see how it's getting smaller there. You could also just type it into, that works as well, 0.5. And I want my left margin to be 0.6 and my right margin to be 0.6 as well. And that gives us a lot more space with which to work. Now that I have that, there were our two pages that my brochure is printed on, the front and the back. And right now, this is only one page. So I want to create another one. And if I go over here to Document Elements, and I go to Break, I can insert a page break. And that will just cause another one to go there and I could work on this one and I could work on this one. Another way of doing that is insert break page if you wanted to do it like that. Once you have two pages, we want to break those two pages down into sections. And there were three sections on each page and I'm going to go into home and I am going to have a text box be the way that I divide these uh, sections here, even though they will include more things than just text. So if I go there, you have your text box, vertical text box, but we do not want our writing going up and down like that, because that would be 
silly so I'm gonna go like that and the one that I had before this took me a little while to get correct but I had it 2.88 inches wide and you can see the width and the height in that yellow little box right there and my height was seven and a half inches tall there we go. and like that cool and once you make that text box you can see this little format thing come up and this happens we're going to be using this format tab a lot this anytime you select something whether it be a text box a picture or a shape or a table or a chart anything this little format thing comes up and if you click on it this controls the format of the element that you just selected and I just want to pick one of these so that I could see what I'm doing but there's more than just one and now I had six of them and I have one of them right now so if I click on this notice how I have that little blinky text thing there that I do not want it like uh, like that so I want to click on that and that little blinky text thing will go away and now that it is selected if I do command C or command V or sorry command C or control C on Windows it will copy it and nothing will happen right away but it will take account of what I just copied and if I press command V or control V on Windows I get another one like that and I'll do it one more time and I'm going to drag that over there and I'm going to drag that over there. And now we want to get the layout of this correct. And this could be a bit more difficult than it initially seems. Um, so that's why we have these little grid lines. And we have these grid lines, which are an eighth of an inch each. And we also have this ruler up here, which breaks things down into an eighth of an inch. So what I did is I had it come off like, See so it go over there, three eighths, about three eighths of an inch. See so one, two, that's a little bit too much. Like that. One, two, three. And then I had a buffer on, or a margin on the side of, on, on the right side as well. So one, two, three. And then this will be the first side of it. And then in the middle of it, I have another one, two, three. And then one, two, three, but I need another three three right there one two three and then there should be another three on the side here and this worked pretty well for me um, let's get all of these set up and you definitely want to check that this is correct before you go on so I believe this worked for me but don't take my word as gospel definitely check this out on your own so I am going to do command C command V and it should copy there we go I'm just going to drag these over here. We have about three eighths of an inch on the side. Give it six eighths or three quarters if I simplify my fraction. And one more right there. And that looks one, two, uh, a little bit more over there, I think. All right, that should be more or less good, but definitely. I said this before, but definitely check this out. And um, it also kind of teaches you how to manipulate things on your own. So if you wanted to make you know columns a little wider or shorter, you know how to do that. And you're not just following instructions or you're not just getting exact measurements from me. And now that I have that, I can't like just do my title and then the things that I want in order because we are folding it in a certain way. And so how I had this organized, and you could pick whatever kind of sections you want. And instructions. Had about us here. Add Flappy Bird right there, or the title of whatever you are doing. And then over here I had the story. The story behind the game how it works and finally I had some made up reviews and I should also make sure that is there you go cool and so this is where you should print it out and check that everything is properly aligned and how you do um, and like 
the title is in the right spot, not the about us is in the right spot. And if you go to file, print, I believe each one of these is going to be different for different computers, but on the ones that we have here, uh, if you click on that and go to Xerox features, and you want to go down to two-sided printing, two-sided printing, flip on edge and then print, and that will uh, print the proper way. I am not going to go through all of that because I have done this correctly, uh, but definitely stop right here and make sure this is correct. This is in a really important spot. So now what we're going to do is I am just going to go through all these different blocks and show you how I did what I did. I tried to get a little bit of everything so you can learn a lot of different skills when you're making this. And first thing I'll start is my title. And I always want to center my title. Whatever you do, don't like press spacebar a million times, try to get it centered. Do not do that or tab or whatever. You want to have it centered like that. You could center your text right there. Right align is like that, left align, justified, but we're not going to justify it for this title. We are going to center it. And I picked a nice little uh, text effect for my title. I had one of these, I forget which one it is, but you can pick these. You could also, if you were to just type Flappy Bird and then highlight it and go to format, you can. Uh, the text style, yeah. So you have all these choices like you did before. I believe you actually have more if you go over here, yeah. And then you can control the effects and the fill, like the inside of it, and the line, like the outside of it. So if I do that, I don't really like that. Okay. And if you go back home, you can make it bigger. So I want like size 26. Yeah, I still don't really like that. I'm just going to go like that. Boom. No. You know, I'm not going to have any of these. Mm -mm. And if you go down here to clear word art, that will get rid of it. And I am just going to make my own little style here. So let's have a blue font. And if you go here, you can change the font, the style of it. And let's have it like that. Cool. And I want a little sh. No, I want a reflection. Cool. All right. So that is my title right there. If I go down here, I want to have something under it that sort of explains it. So I'm going to italicize that, and I want to make this smaller. And size 14 should be good. And I'm going to have just like a normal font there because I have the title be a little fancier. And I'm just going to switch this back to Cambria. Avoid. And I want it black too. Avoid the pipes. Boom. And I have that italicized. And I'm going to go back to my left align. And I'm going to explain a little bit about it. This is all, and I don't want to italicize anymore. This is all, it still has shadow too. I am off here. So it's reflection, there we go. No, that's not what I want to do either. That's, all right. This is all about flappy bird. Boom. Cool. Put it down there. So now I want to add the picture of my game that I had. And I did that by making a screenshot. So I am going to go up here into Chrome. I am going to find what I had. So I made my game inside of Scratch. And where's Flappy Bird? There it is. I'm going to make it nice and big so we get a higher, uh, higher resolution. And you can take a screenshot on a Mac anyway by Command, Shift, and 3. And you should have heard a sound there. There we go. And if you go back there after taking the screenshot, and on Windows, I'm not exactly sure what it is. You could easily search that. And I want to go over here. This insert area is going to become a 
good friend of ours and I want to insert a picture and that picture is from a file that I just uh, saved uh, from my screenshot and there we go it should be on my desktop and it always has some one cryptic oh there we go screenshot something there we go all right that's that's the better one not yet having a game over and I go to insert and it's gonna fit into there and if I try to like move it around or anything it's all weird and blah, blah. so what I have to do is I need to make it go like that and if you go over here to wrap text you want it to be in front of the text and once you do that then you can manipulate it how you want and I'm and this zoom button down here will zoom in there we go make that a little longer stretch it out cool that looks good and since any text will just go under this picture since we have it in front of it I just go enter and that will go down like that and I'm gonna say read on for more info about our game exclamation point get people excited and I had a little arrow and just like I had the insert picture before I can insert a any kind of shape that I want and I'm gonna to go to black arrows and just draw it like that and this just like before we're gonna have format up here and this can be manipulated into any color that you want and any type of fill that you want with different lines like that effects just like the text you have a shadow and so on I will keep it like that actually that looks halfway decent okay so now that I have that I am I will just go backwards from the right here I am going to do the about us section now about us and I always want to highlight it to make sure that it is uh, being selected. And if I go back home, I could center it. I am going to use that same font as before. There we go. And make it a little bigger. And this time I will keep it on black. And this is the one where I had the picture of myself. Actually, why don't I... Uh, so this is the one I had before. This is the one I actually made. And you could see that there is the picture of myself. And how I did that was I just went... Er, where is that? Why is Word not tabbed? That should definitely be... There we go. And I went into... Where did I go? I went to photo booth. There we go. And I took a picture of myself. There I am right now. And I will try to do another um, uh, giddy face. So if I click on that, I go. There we go. And you can just take that and drag it to your desktop. Oh, there you go. And now that will be on there. And we are going to do it the same way that we did before. I'm going to take the picture and picture from a file. And these weird ones always have. I can use any of them. I kind of like this one actually. All right. And we have the same issue as before, so I just kind of need to drag it somewhere weird and wrap it so that it is in front of the text. And now I can take it like that. And if you look on, I can close this one out now. If you look at this, I kind of have it circular with a little border. And just like I did um, with the text, I am going to go to Format Picture. Whoops. And you can do many things. You can crop it. You can. Uh, change lots of things but I am going to go over here to picture styles and I make it circular like that and stretch it out and now that I mentioned the crop over there I realized that I did not do it for this one so I'm gonna stretch this out and you can see that 
there's like a lot more stuff than just my game. I don't want that. So if I go to crop, I can make it smaller. And this will take everything that is not in that picture or that is not in that area and will just get rid of it so that the only thing I have is my actual game. That will make it look a lot better. Crop. Boom. Like that. And now I can do like that, put it over there. And I want to crop it even a little bit more so I get rid of that black bar. Perfect. Press enter. That should work. Good. Stretch it out. Sweet. Okay, and just like before, I am going to say, I'm going to go over here. I. Uh, we want to make sure, so we're going to have the title and then we're going to have the text. You want to make sure that the text is smaller than the title so that the title actually sticks out. That's what you want it for. So I'm going to put this down to 14. Uh, I want the... All right. I am Kevin. I make games. And at the bottom I had where you could play my game. So you can play this game at, I had a URL down there. I'm not going to copy the whole thing again, uh, but you, you could go up there in the scratch and get your thing. Okay, now I have instructions and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to make that bigger instructions. I'm going to get that font and I'm going to center it. And this one I'm going to keep nice and big. So I had, if you look here, I have a shape hitting the pipes or, or the no hitting the pipes or the ground. So I'm going to type that. And I can take the shape and where was that? Boom. And I just drag it over there. Great. And now you can see a difference between this one and the one that I have here. And you could see through the other one, but you can't see through this one. And that's because if we go to format, we have transparency. And I just want to make sure that you can sort of see through it. And that will change how much you could see. And this one over here, I had, um, you could also write on the shape. So I go back home and I'm going to insert another shape. And drag that. Click on the space bar. Click on the space bar to jump. Make that a little shorter. And I took a picture with my iPad here uh, to demonstrate what pressing on a space bar looks like to those who are uninitiated um, and are still making brochures and games and scratch and word. Uh, so I will plug my iPad in, which I strangely enough did not do before I started shooting this video. And let me get this. And as I'm doing this, let me just, if you uh, go to Mr. Teacher Kevin, the website, and you can jump around and see specific skills that you want to learn. Like, it's probably a better way of doing it. You can see what I made here, all of these things, and that and that. And that. Like, oh, I want to do something like that. Let me go look at how I can do it. And you can, um, if you go to New from Template, you can see sort of how they do their brochures as well here and this is just exactly what we are doing it's just a little bit it's just a little bit different like that is a that is a text box that is the picture like the circular picture that is I'm not sure but that is a themed background and that's these are just fonts with colors pictures that's all they are get another one
and like this one. All right, that is a shape right there. And another shape, another picture, and you could change this to be however you want it to. Cool. Um, but I have my iPad plugged in here. And iTunes will come popping up because Apple is being annoying like that. And if I go to iPhoto, once it stops bouncing, there's my picture. There's some other stuff I've shot. The excellent green screen tutorial, which can also be seen on YouTube, and you should watch it. And where is that picture that I had? Oh, uh, maybe I didn't. Yeah, I did. Where is it? Oh, here we go. I had the picture up here. It was in already imported. And you just import what you want, and then it will put it onto the computer. I want to keep the photo, but you can delete it. And just take it and drag it onto your desktop. And now, just like before, that will be on your desktop. So I am going to do like I did before, home, uh, picture, picture from file. And where? There we go. Insert and wrap text in front of text. Make it the size that you want and manipulate these things. And we have just like that. Now make it a little smaller. I could probably crop that. Cool. All right, and we have one half of our brochure done. So now I'm going to scroll down here, and I have the story, how it works, and reviews. And in the story, I used a shape to kind of get a little bit more style into it. So I'm trying to do things like every single way that you can. So I have the text effects here. I just have normal things here. I have shapes here. Um, another shape here. We will put in more... Uh, text box down here that we could add style to those and then we'll get a picture from the internet another shape and that will be it so in the story I add that and I put in a shape and that was a circle so boom around. and you just click on that and you can type the story and you can highlight that and just like it's normal text, you can go back there, story, and there we go. I want that a little bigger. There we go. Okay. And that will skip that. Okay, and my story was, I think I had it a little bigger. What did I have? Yeah, one so long. Once a long time ago, there was a bird, and I had that in my cool font that I like. That's too big, though. Once upon a time, there was a bird. He couldn't hit pipes. Why is that happening? Hit pipes. Here is a picture of him. Cool. That's weird. Okay, so this picture I got from the internet, and that is another good way to get pictures. And how I did that? So I just go there and I search whatever you want. And images. And I believe this was the picture. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. And it's important to click on it before you put it in because it makes it a higher quality. And just drag it to there. And perfect. Make it a little wider. Cool. And we're done with that. And for the How It Works section... I added, um, I had a shape here, 
and then I added text boxes down here. So let's just get that shape really quick. Home. And I had a rounded edge on that one. Oops. Like that. I want to get rid of that. How it works, just like before. that up there and I for the other ones I inserted another text box and this is a good way of kind of controlling like how you want your text to be shaped like say you wanted only this part to have the text there you can do it like that and that would be really helpful I chose not to do it like that but you could and it also allows you to style it too so for this one I'm actually gonna copy and paste this I had it underlined and a little bit bigger here, and then I had it a little bit smaller down for the actual text. Cool, and I make that a little bigger. And just like with the pictures and with the shapes and with the text, with the text box, you can go back up here to format and pick how you want it. That looks pretty cool. Like that, looks like the Financial Times. Uh, boom. Yeah, let's try that. All right, make that a little wider and it will change like that. That This actually is a decent place to justify text, I think. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, you can see how, how, uh, how the justifying changes it. I think that looks pretty good. And copy, boom. I want to insert another text box. And hope that's big enough. There we go. Format, change that style. Cool. Okay, and finally, reviews. And that one I just had centered and normal. and I'm just going to copy and paste this again this I did not put a text box I just put it down there I want that left aligned and I put a lightning shape in there where is that there we go and if you click on it and see that little thing there that will allow you to change what it looks like Oops, probably just could have done that for all of them. Cool. And one more lightning bolt. And there we go. And one last thing you can do is if you go to layout and you can change the page background if you want to go to if you want to change it you can change the color of the background. Now, if you are printing this, you need to have like set a special permission to change the printing. I think a better way of doing this is just getting a different color of paper to print it on. And this just kind of shows you how that looks because that would take a lot of ink to just print that. Uh, but it will work if you, I did not do it, but if you wanted to search, you can figure that out or you could just use different colored paper. But we have made a brochure here and you can apply this to many different things and you should be able to make a brochure in just about any shape or style that your heart desires. So now that you have seen my very basic design, see what you can make with that knowledge. Good job and good luck. Oops.